What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remote play on your PlayStation 5. Let's jump into it. So on your PlayStation 5, the first thing you wanna do is go to the very top and then go all the way over to the right to settings and select settings. Then what you wanna do from here is you wanna go down until you see system, select that. And then go down to remote play and make sure you enable remote play. If you don't do that, then you can't do anything. So make sure you, um, you enable that. Next, what you wanna do is click on link device. So it's gonna give you a number. It's gonna be good for a certain amount of seconds. So what you wanna do is go on your trusty phone or tablet and go into the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store and search PS Remote Play. Once you find that, just hit install and you should have enough time in between you know seeing this timer and you know whatever and if the timer runs out you can always get a new uh, code from your PlayStation 4 but once it's downloaded hit open and then once it's open hit sign into PlayStation Network and you're just gonna log in with the same PlayStation Network uh, ID that you do on your PlayStation 5 use the same one on your uh, your app on your phone or your tablet so it's asking where you want to connect to. So I'm going to hit PlayStation 5. It says before connecting to your PlayStation 5 to use remote play, enable it on the PS5, which we already did. So we're going to hit OK to that. And now it's saying searching for connections. All right, great. So now we're at the point it's asking us to enter the code, the code that's in the PlayStation 5. So we're going to enter that code on my phone, 9004, 4002. I'm going to hit link. And now it's linking my PS5. And now it looks like it's linked up because, yep, we're good to go. I can hear my PlayStation 5 on my phone at this point. I should be able to play games. I'm going to turn this sideways. I'm going to mute it too so it doesn't get, uh, you don't need to hear what I'm doing. So we're backing out of all this stuff. And I should be able to play a game right on here. So let's do that. So we're gonna go just play, play Sackboy. It's a PlayStation 5 game. It's also a PlayStation 4, but it is PlayStation 5. So I'm gonna play it on here and I'm gonna see, just to show you, and this is gonna be all over your Wi-Fi network. So if you have a slow Wi-Fi network, it's definitely not gonna play very well. You could also go about connecting a PlayStation controller to your uh, phone if you wanted to. Let's try it one more time. Jump across, there we go, we did it. Pick all those up, baby. Oh. There we go, made it across, but yeah. Link uh, to link play this, this works great. No problems with it. I don't see any noticeable lag on this as well. Um, I'd have to play it for a lot longer, but it definitely does work. And my Wi-Fi router is in another room. So this works great. You can see no problems at all. And that's how you link it up on here. I'm going to go uh, home. I'll go back to my controller. One other thing I wanted to show you is when you go back into settings, system, and then uh, remote play and connection history, you're gonna be able to see uh, which device connected and all that, when it did it, what the connection uh, method was, user, the time, the device, so all of that. So there you guys go. That's how you set up remote play on your PlayStation 5. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys down the road.